Lord Miles has returned. He is back amongst us, amongst the West, for a whole um, three weeks. Until then, he goes back. Yeah, apparently. I mean, that's what he said. <laughs> of, uh, he's pref- he, he said, and you'll understand this context as we go further in, he prefers uh, Afghan Callum to English Callum. I think a lot of people do, to be fair. Oh. so What, even you? Well, I literally got some random guy come up to me and said, I love you. That's, that's pretty. I never had that here. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about like like you in Afghanistan. I mean oh. the guy who is just you, but Afghanistani. Oh, oh, well, yeah, there's a few of them. They're pretty cool. They're, they're <laughs> nice guys. All right, but for people who don't know, Lord Miles, I mean, he disappeared off the face of the earth because he was uh, detained by the Taliban. I'm not going to get into all the details because that's for him to reveal. That's his whole uh, uh, situation. So I'm going to be talking about what's publicly available. But now there is a lot more publicly available. I, I, people have noticed I've not been talking about the fact he disappeared because I was under orders not to. And now he's back. We can do something about Although it. Although you had repeatedly said in the recent weeks leading up to this that, by the way, he's alive. By the way, yes. he, he is alive. And you kept saying this. And then Rorek Nationalist and other people when I have received video and, uh, and audio and all the confirmation that you need to say he's alive. And I saw so many accounts on Twitter going, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. His friends are saying he's alive. That must mean he's dead. Speaking of that, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie all this segment. Lord Miles never dies, which I'm well aware will age terribly at some point. Maybe soon. Who knows? With Lord <laughs> Miles. It's, it's just a bit of a, a bit of a funny character. I mean, he knows. You know, there's risk reward and high risk high reward. When's when's he getting captured by Hamas? Um, well, I did ask that, him. I mean, because uh, surely he's got a list of terrorist organizations he wants <laughs> no. to be caught by. No, because the Taliban aren't a terrorist organization. Oh, sorry. That's yeah. the thing. Well, I mean, Hamas would be the first in that case. He, t- Lord Miles has nothing to do with terrorism. He has never engaged with terrorists. He only hangs out with people who are off the prescription list. Yes. So there we are. Let's, let's make that legally clear. <laughs> so, for people who don't know, you can go and check out. I did an interview with Lord Miles ages ago. This is, this is, this is that, where you can you go and see it. We talk about dark tourism. In comparison to the recent photos, he's got such a baby face here, doesn't he? It, the Afghan ages you in a way that's unnatural. So, there's that. But if you don't want to go check that out, uh, I suppose we'll jump into the news, which is that there's, you know, four British men have been freed after a, an Afghan detention, the BBC reports here. That's not Miles. Uh, he's aged quite a bit. Oh, I, no. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's, um, that's um, uh, I, I don't know if his name's being used publicly in the media, so I won't, but that's someone who is a good guy. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm glad he's back as well. And, You've spoken to him. Uh, I haven't been able to speak to him since they've been back. Oh, all right. Because I uh, just don't have his phone number on me. So I, I had a Whatever, I'm not going to get into that. But the, the other guys who are back as well, I'm very glad they're back. And if they're watching, you know, fantastic news chaps, it, it's good to see yeah. you again back in the West. So there's that. And um, well, you know, Miles aging aside, there is uh, some news in this that was interesting. I did see a lot of the responses, which is like, you know, we'll talk about Miles because Miles is the, uh, well, every the single guy. person was shocked that he's still alive. <laughs> Once again, after a few weeks now, if not a month or two of you. Nuance Pro, Raw Egg Nationalist, everyone's saying, by the way, he's not dead. We've spoken to him. I've received evidence he's alive. And a lot of people were like, nah, he's still dead. I'm like, what, what is the... There was a one point, I can't remember which guy it was. To be Some fair. guy was insisting that because Miles put out that he needed money because, you know, um, being detained is not cheap. Weirdly enough, that he was uh, being used as some kind of funnel for money to the Taliban. No, someone was saying that... that um, the Taliban, me, and a bunch of other influencers all got together to harvest money off his dead corpse through his Patreon. I was just like, that's an ins... Right, because you was... To be fair, this was only like a couple of guys, but it was just like, what the hell is wrong with I'm some people to, on the I'm internet? I'm trying to think of the logic of this. So you're friends with Miles, and in this scenario... Yeah, I went, I'm going to kill your, Miles. Your friend has been <laughs> murdered by the Taliban, and you've decided, you know what? Taliban... Kind of, kind of a gross move, but we could make some money from. We this. made some great videos. We could make some great money as well. That's, that's no, that's not. I don't know. Speak it, to them. Have you seen the Scarface gif where it's all of them like a push it to the limit and they're laughing over the money that they're making? Was that you and the Taliban? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was one guy's fantasy. I, I want to make it clear that was a very fringe opinion, but a lot of people did think he was dead, which was foolish because you know. I, I can kind of understand you, given that you're a Taliban agent. I'm not. <laughs> 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 to make it clear, MI5. <laughs> But the the funny thing was, I saw that um, a lot of people were suspicious and obviously being like, well, no, he must be dead. And and if it was anyone else, I would actually be like, you know, fair enough to be suspicious. But one thing I've learned hanging out with Lord Miles is never bet against him. No matter how ridiculous he tells you the things he's been up to, he'll then come back with photographic evidence of him doing it. So that's that. Anyway. He but, is insane. And there we go. They do actually use Kev's name here. So Kev here, who uh, was detained, he's a UN aid agency worker out there. And then there's another guy who's unnamed. So I'll leave it that way. And uh, Lord Miles being the third uh, British passport holder who was detained. 
and then has been released. So there's that. I can see the office, uh, well, read real quick. The Presidium Network, who were working, I believe, on um, Kevin's case and the other unnamed chaps situation, have been very supportive. Um, they said the two men will probably need medical help. So there's mm. uh, that. Uh, I also saw that the Foreign Office said that it regrets this episode. And it says, on behalf of the families of the British nationals, we express their apologies to the current administration of Afghanistan, which is weird phrasing, for any violations of the laws of the country. So that's all that's out there. We, for we, that. we apologize that you were forced to kidnap and hold our. No, uh, no, no, no. There's um, more details there. But again, it's up to Miles to. I, do this, I have, this story. I have seen some details, and it looked like earlier on today, I think Miles has released some information about what went on in a Twitter thread. Yeah, uh, but the other two guys, they're, they're different circumstances, and uh, I won't get into those now, because, as I mentioned, um, Lord Miles is going to be selling his story, and uh, boy, does he need the money after Patreon decided to kill his Twitter account. Patreon, honestly, you were the worst company in the world. Wait, they killed his account or Patreon account? Yeah, they banned him. Account? They banned they, him and they... went, you're, you're banned. And he was in jail. Well, he's, he's un under detention from the Taliban, and he gets this email, and he's just like... Cheers? Sorry, like, I'm getting detained against... You know, I don't have a choice in this. And you guys ban me. Like, you're, I'm sorry, anyone on Patreon, like, you're making a big mistake. Yeah. If you're thinking of making content, set up a subscribe star. Do not use Patreon. They're the worst. We, we know from many other examples prior to just Miles yeah. that Carl, Patreon. Lauren will, Southern. Patreon will absolutely just tank your account if they don't like you. And it, it's just they're, just, they're just dicks, genuinely. Anyway, but a whole other situation. So um, I'll, I'll let people speak for the details of what happened there. I do love that they, they include Miles like this. Uh, they keep labeling him like, um, you know, an extreme tourist, which I suppose he is. And I suppose that's... He's a dark tourist. Yeah. I, I think dark tourism is a more accurate description because I saw a bunch of tabloids like he does danger tourism. It's like, nah, not really. And it's like, dangerous tourism. But I, when I think of danger tourism, I think I saw a video earlier of a guy jumping off a cell tower that's a billion feet in the air and the parachute doesn't deploy and he just hits the ground and, and he's, he's alive because he hits snow. But it's like, that's danger tourism where it's like, I'm risking my life literally just because of adrenaline. Like, well, surely that's just thrill-seeking. I don't know. Well, yeah. I, su I suppose that's a kind of tourism where you go and you find those experiences because you can't get them in your home country. I, I presume so. I mean, Miles does have um, other interests than just, you know, I want to die. I, I know it may be hard you. to believe. I don't believe you. <laughs> but, you know. I've met him briefly the once and he definitely had a streak in him. So we'll, we'll go to the uh, tweets he's made because, uh, again, this is his story. So he says here, eight months in Taliban intelligence, uh, quote, custody. Best adventure I've had yet. <laughs> All the previous tweets are true. Best mates with many of the top commanders. After numerous picnics, go for picnics right. with the uh, commanders of the Taliban intelligence. Cool. And you can see here, lovely lads, treated me as a guest. I will be returning to Kabul next month. Right. I just want to point out Everybody in the office has noticed this. You watching have probably already noticed this. Callum, this chap right here, that's just you. That's that, not. That's you. He's got eyeliner. With a tan and <laughs> eyeliner. <That's, laughs> what's going on, Callum? I know you were away for a few weeks. How do you think I was talking to Miles? <sighs> I should have known it. Ah, how you doing, brother? Anyway, I've got the cover. <laughs> What was that accent? I tell, you tell me. You're the one who's <laughs> been to Afghanistan. Uh, no, they, uh, you're the one who is Afghan. Well, you should have worn your special outfit for this segment. Yeah, that might have been fun. But I, I, I might do a video about this for myself, about just the, the other stuff that went down. Because, of yeah. course, um, me and Miles' uh, friends, when he went missing, were just like, ah, where is he? <laughs> and, and instantly tried to try and figure out what went down. And uh, there's that side of it. But... You go check out Mars. I do love the responses here. It's like, yeah, eight months with Taliban. It's whatever. You know, fest buds with them now. Went on a few picnics with them. <laughs> Please, God, let this happen because it would be so funny. Yeah, that's the thing about Miles. I mean, <laughs> hey, girl. Yeah, it's me. Eight months with the Taliban. It was a really nice adventure. Lights up, sick. <laughs> yeah, and there's, and there's a hell of a story. The Taliban start wearing makeup. They're just some of them are, are just like that. All right, it's you leave them alone. On his way to Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one as well. Yeah. The uh, return of the return of the king. And of course, I mean, there are a lot of memes about this, to say the least. As you can see here, I saw Cody from Alternative History Hub. It's just like, you know, Miles, <laughs> five seconds after getting released and uh, seeing the news in Gaza. <laughs> I've got an idea!
<laughs> this is what I'm saying, man. It's going to be Hamas next. He's going to come out being best friends with them. Guys, I've managed to negotiate peace talks between Palestine and Israel. We managed, we managed to do it. They're both like, British territories now. He's got them in both arms and he's just like, boys, we found common ground. Um, you know, no more brother wars. Western women have got to go. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know about that, but he's—he uh, is. Uh, I don't think getting dropped in Gaza, as we can see now. I think the Taliban have rerouted the flight, so he won't be going to uh, Heathrow. <laughs> dropped off at Gaza International, where he can. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I have spoken to him this morning. The and memes I, are so good. I, I did mention to him. So, how do you feel about a weekend away in Gaza? And he was just like, "Well, yeah, maybe." I don't know. Yep, yep. <laughs> some considerations taken into account, but you know, I got some. Uh, it's got some post in the mail that needs responding to. I bet. Bit of a gas bill has uh, left one light on. <laughs> the electric's gone mental. <laughs> Octopus energy, no. This is the worst challenge yet, speaking to call center drones. <laughs> Take me back like, to the desert. Why do you have the same accent? That's, that's, that's weird. That's strange. Wait a second, Habibi? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ears. Oh, don't worry, it's cancelled. <laughs> so, there's that. I saw um, Callum Abroad did a, a pretty funny tweet. For people who don't know, this isn't my second channel. This is this isn't. My, uh, this sounds a lot like it is. No, this is uh, a different guy. I'll, I'll just show him off because he's uh, he seems to be a nice guy. He's uh, you know he's got a good name and everything. Anyway, so he likes uh, hanging out with interesting people as well. As you can see here, uh, urban youths. Uh, <laughs> what circles have you found yourself in, Callum? <laughs> the um, travel community are an interesting all, bunch. All of this because you got bored working a nine to five office job. Look. You know, who doesn't? So, that's I think that's sympathetic. Anyway, but uh, so this is a chap who also does a lot of traveling. He's been doing it for ages, goes on channel, et cetera, et cetera. And um, anyway, he, uh, he's been in contact with Miles, as you can see here. It's confirmation that I spoke to the real Lord Miles, who's been detained by the Taliban. He's uh, fine and craving a bacon cheeseburger. I think he sure. got it. He did indeed. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he's, I think he has mentioned this publicly, so I will mention it is that when he was on the phone to the British government who were negotiating on behalf of the whole deal, he was just like, yeah, so I really want a bacon cheeseburger if you can organize that for me, please. So when he arrived back in the UK, they were, he was like, yeah, you better have it. But if you don't have it, I'm not talking to you. We're not, <laughs> we're not having a chat. So yeah, is that, well, this is this, I suppose. You're not getting harmed and there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing bad happening to you. No, I'll make it explicitly clear. I'm miles off the vacant routage. I'm perfectly fine and I'd rather enjoy myself. Now, don't worry about me. And when I come out, I'm going to have a lovely holiday and meet you and all my other friends in London for a nice little party at Weatherspoons and Katsu and Gay Griggs. Oh, I really fancy a bacon cheeseburger. I don't know if, if I've told my friend this, but I really hope when I get home, I'm going to have a bacon cheeseburger waiting for me. Well, mate, I'll have, I'll have you a bacon cheeseburger and some Doritos. Because I, I actually had a bacon cheeseburger yesterday. <laughs> Rubbing it in there. <laughs> yeah. Callum, jeez. <laughs> oh my god, that was uh, a bit unnecessary. Below the belt. You know what's doubly weird about that is that, as you can see here, um, Callum abroad, he, he went to Kabul as well. He's traveling around Afghanistan at this point. And um, before that, he is was... he in, doing it right now as we speak? Uh, not right now. I've been oh, okay. Retired, but he, you know, he um, was just like, well, you know, YOLO. Well, apparently... <laughs> also bored of his 9 to 5. And <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it for everybody, but apparently, it, as long as you're just a, a funny, wacky dude, it's easy to get along in Afghanistan. To be honest, I, I'm not recommending everyone travel, no. obviously. But um, one of the things I have learned from checking out sort of the, the travel community, as I'm going to call them, because, um, you know, Callum abroad here, you know, he's, he's one of them. You know, Miles, interesting guy. Um, there's like a, a, another few people I've been introduced to who, who travel to really interesting places all the time, and that's what they like doing is that um, their secret weapon really is just being charismatic and friendly to the locals. Just find out whatever they like and just get along with them. So like Miles has said previously... Is that what you did? Well, Miles said previously he went to the Turkish uh, checkpoint in Kabul when it was collapsing. And they were like, no, 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 we're not letting anyone in. And he just went, whoa, 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 don't worry, I'm not Greek. <laughs> and then they went, ah! And then let him in. <laughs> ah, come on in, buddy! <laughs> so... You know, as long as you get along with the local If it people, works, it works, I suppose. It's uh, the best advice, best travel advice someone can ever give you. Um, we'll check out the previous tweets that he's referencing here about the fact that he said all of his previous stories were true. Real quick, I suppose. So this is uh, a friend of Lord Miles to give an update. Four months in Taliban custody. That was halfway. And as you can see here, just me and the boys. Chilling. Why would you not be? 
Still loves Afghanistan, so feels like he's on holiday. He's sunbathing, playing Team Fortress 2, and writing his second he's book. He's playing TF2 the whole time? For a lot of it, yeah. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> playing TF2, writing, and then reading T.E. Lawrence over and over and over again. Well, what else are you going to That do? sounds pretty chill. Yeah. Exercising, has chocolates, cakes. He, he certainly uh, did. Obvious. So uh, this is all about his uh, Afghan gold mine adventure as well, which he, I believe, has spoken publicly about, which he, he found out that there's an Afghan gold mine that the Americans had done the mapping for. And then there were, the recommendation in the report was mine immediately because it's, it's so easy to get. And then, you know, COVID happened, so they couldn't... And they never it. did anything with it after the, they pulled out. Well they, well, they weren't there anymore. They lost the country. Because well, yeah. how else do you export the resources of country you're occupying if you don't occupy it? Drones? So. Yeah, so Lord Miles is just sort of like, yeah, I'll have that. That's that's uh, I'll take that business. So that's what he's uh, trying to do as well. So yeah, he's talking about the fact that they were kind to him. Hasn't been this relaxed in years. Lovely to get away from it. I do wonder. I'm I'm going to ask him at some point. It's just how did you deal with not having constant internet access and a phone? Because that must have been just ugh. Because he's very much a zoomer like me who sits there, mm. death staring. So uh, wondering yeah. about which part of the Middle East you're going to visit next. Yeah. Let's just, uh, you know, check whatever's trending, I suppose. So there's that. And he, he goes on and on here. And um, then, you know, if you're a journalist and you want to get his story, do contact him. Uh, I, I don't know what the current situation of what his uh, dealings are with that. But of course, if you've been in prison for, well, been in detainment, I should say, for eight months, um, you, you might need some money. And uh, eight months pay <laughs> is what you might need to, to at least get back on your feet. So there's that. I do love all this as well. It's just like the Taliban having fun. <laughs> I mean, really, the memes from the Fall of Kabul are never going to die either. So, <laughs> What is this stupid meme about the lines? Do you understand it? Well, yes. Right, okay. If the line is straight, it means you are the dominant one because you don't feel the need to lean into anybody else and therefore um, like uh, leech off of their energy. Whereas if you're leaning into someone, it means that you're dependent and submissive on them. What we're seeing here is that every single one of these people is leaning. So paradoxically... Except from, except from this Chad. He's, uh... Well, no, he's, he, his line is also going off in an angle. So <laughs> what this actually means is that they are all so relaxed on one another and so dependent on one another that their coexistence turns it back around into being based. All right, fair enough. Sounds like... It's like uh... when you see a couple lean into each other rather than like the man or the woman leaning into one another, that means that they're in perfect balanced harmony. Sounds like right-wing witchcraft to me, so pretty horrible. It, it pretty much is. Yeah. Anyway, so I uh, disavow completely. But we'll just end this off with um, that fact we were talking about earlier. Where it was kind of weird. I, I don't know who was disbelieving, but um, don't worry. Like I'm not going to lie. Like, but would it, what would be the point? So some people were disbelieving that you know there's me here. Yeah. What would be the point, Callum? Why would you lie? Uh, you know what? I want um, more followers on Twitter.com. You know what I'm going to do with them? Uh, engagement bait to get money from Elon Musk. I'm not. I don't have to put it blue. Oh yeah, you don't actually, do you? So what? Would... Ah, you're a sucker, eh? Yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Is kind of pointless. So there we are. There's also Oliver over here. I've been chatting to him the whole time. Very good guy. And um, all have, that. We, have we got a picture of the gains that he's made? Oh, I don't know if we do. Actually, I don't think we do. We because oh, we That's should so. get up a picture of the gains that he's made because it's very impressive. Raw Egg Nationalist tweeted it out. When you got nothing else to do, I mean, here's the shoes he's apparently selling as well. The, the Taliban have a weird uh, thing where they they like to wear these certain sneakers, and that means you're special forces or you're high tier, which is a whole other. Someone else could explain it better than I can. Miles could explain it better than no, I can. No, don't <laughs> ask me to explain the preferences and behaviors of the third world. So you got some Taliban guys to sign them. So if you want a, a signed pair of sneakers from Taliban Special Forces, if you uh, you and your buddies are doing airsoft and want to role play that bit harder, then uh, <laughs> you could do that, I suppose. And uh, I suppose we'll this off with just the fact that there's some other guys who are making good memes. Are they reading his books? The Ministry of Culture of Afghanistan has now revealed the list of top-selling books in Afghanistan. Number one, Lord Miles in Afghanistan. Uh, number two, Afghanistan Napoleon, the life of Ahir Ahmed, Ahmed Shah, Shah Massoud. Number three, how to fix your car. Pretty popular, actually. That's a routine problem. Is this, is this <laughs> real or is this like an AI-generated image? Number four, keep an eye on the feminists and homosexuals. That's also a, a good read. Um, five is that a book? Five. That's, that's uh, just good advice. Uh, number five. <laughs> <laughs> number five, the art of war. But there we are. This is a real image as well, people wondering. This is Lord Miles when he was detained. 
Um, he gave them a copy of his book about. Did he just have a few copies with him. That he was like, oh, here you go. Yeah, so he was like, oh, hello, Mister, um, you know, MI5 of the Taliban. And they're like, oh, good to meet you. You're, you're very famous. A couple of selfies, and then he was just like, yeah, have a read of my book, would you? And they're like, oh, it's pretty good. So then he got them to sign them as well. Oh, so, nice memories. But anyway, the Lord is back. Um, it's good to see him, as you can see here. He's in good spirits. Um, not been, I suppose, the uh, time I would spend. If, if I had time to kill, but uh, whatever, it is it is what it is. And he had a hell of a time. So look forward to the interviews and I look forward to chatting to him in person and um, getting Go, that. Going for that Weatherspoons party with him. Oh boy, can't wait to order more peas. Ooh. So we'll move to nothing working. Gets back to England. First thing, first thing he wants is Weatherspoons. Yeah, we had choice to be honest. I'd say... Uh, he doesn't know that they've got, inspe- got expensive, does he? Oh no, he's missed so much. God, he missed out on inflation. No, he hasn't. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He's going to catch right back up when he gets back. <laughs> if you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as Lads Hour, this one on Who Would You Spend 48 Hours As. If you'd like to find out what else is being put out, you can follow on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>